Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. Now I know I've been going a while, but I wanted to bring back, well come back with something special. So today we got MP31 Masterpiece LEGO Transformer Delta Magnus. Definitely going to check him out. Oh, this thing that I have right here is my new business card. It's Bricks Media Studios and I actually have a whole other channel set up in case if you guys didn't know. It's, um, I believe it's called New Bricks on the Block. Um, got a lot of architecture stuff set up there where you can learn how to build furniture, um, cool things like video game machines and arcade style stuff, and, um, got a new line rolling out with, uh, I think it's gonna be called Bricks Carnival Line. It's gonna be pretty cool. So definitely go check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below. But, let's get to the Transformer! So, I was doing some research here and I saw that the next MP schedule to come out was Delta Magnus, which is a repaint of Ultra Magnus. And I had some sketches up of him before, especially of the cab area. And um, I didn't realize that he was going to be coming with different color uh, armor right here. So, I thought it'd be kind of cool to knock this out before all the actual videos get out there. So, as you can see, pretty much just you know a repaint or a retool of my version 2 Optimus design right here it's pretty nice it looks really nice in blue and I like the way how the, the transformer symbol shows right there um, definitely have some upgrades I got these style the uh, rims and tires throughout the whole model um, before I had like older wheels for the back of the armor right there and as you can see, it rolls really well right here. Pivots and everything. Everything is pretty much, uh, you know, just mixels all over the place. I put some mixels in the armor now, so it's a lot sturdier, stronger. Um, I got some uh, Hero Factory hands for the arms. Thicker shoulder rockets and everything. New head design, I can't wait to show that off. So, let's get into, well, I'll show you how the cap disconnects right here. So, setting the cab off to the side, I have an old school mixel joint mixed with a new one right here. Like this, oh, I see that in the light a little bit. There you go. So, this piece, we're just going to set off to the side. Set that off to the side. Move my seat up a little bit. <laughs> So just regular truck mode without him towing anything. This is how the cab would look. A little beefier design than last time. Um, beefed up the smokestacks there, beefed up the bumper. So to get into transformation for this guy, first thing you're gonna do is take the bumper down like that and then raise the whole cab area. So, and I might need to actually pick this up for you guys to see it a little bit. Maybe zoom out a little bit. Zoom. There you go. Yeah, that's way better. Alright, so then we're going to rotate the cab around 180 degrees, like so. Um, then we're going, we could fold these in, the leg panels. And just like before, and slide the upper panels out more stability like so and then we could get we could begin working on the arms we're just going to kind of wiggle out form like that and then that allows us to swing out the bicep area the arm pull that panel like that but don't break anything that's key Swing out the arm 180 degrees that way. Hold up the panel. And then that allows us to rotate at the wrist. Like so. And then we could take this panel and rotate that around to fill out the arm. And we have one arm done. So we're going to get through the second one real quick. 
pull it out. Like so. Put the panel out forward. Rotate at the shoulder. Not the shoulder, the elbow. Flip the panel up. Make sure it's nice and even. And then that allows us to rotate at the wrist. Like so. And then we'll rotate this panel around again to fill out the arm. We are done with the arms. So then we split the legs apart. Way better connection than before. Flip the head up from the back right there. And it's gonna connect on that little jumper plate on top of his chest right there. And connect that, rotate the head around. I got my new Optimus head design on here with the these cool little uh, pyramid, what are these, like pyramid slope bricks. Um, mostly seen in the, the Nexo Knight series. So I got a set that had like six of those in there. It was really cool, it was like $10. So next thing you do is flip out the feet, right there. And just begin posing them up any way you like. I like the fact that it's like such a mini scaled figure and has like full waist articulate, I mean not waist, uh, ankle tilt and everything. But he is also articulated at the waist. The last step, we fold up these wheels in the back and straighten them up and we are done. So I'm going to move the armor out the way, which is also a lot stronger too on its own. And we're gonna do a rotate with this guy. Make sure he doesn't fall. Maybe zoom in a little bit. There's the camera. So, fully articulated. He has wrist swivel, um, mixels for the shoulders, the elbows. Um, head does a full 360. He has mixers for the hips and the knees and the ankles. And also has waist swivel right here. Waist tilt. Um, it's kind of connected to the bumper, but you get some pretty cool dynamic poses out of him. Make sure he stands. Cool. So now we're going to get to the armor. Which has. A lot of improvements in it. Let's move this guy back a little bit. And with the armor, um, much like before, I mean, like all the main pieces are still kind of where they're at. They're just secured a little bit better. So, what you want to do for this is flip up these connector pegs right there. Attach it from this angular plate right there. And as you can see, they connect to two little uh, Technic bricks right there. And set those to the side. And then we disconnect this upper part right here for where the head is at. Like so. The only other thing we have to take off is the connector peg for the leg part. There we go. And that's just connected like this. And then we connect these four studs right here to the top right there. So, and then we're gonna start working on the legs first, work from the ground up. So with the legs, they are a new design, 
put the toes right here where I built in some uh, ankle tilt and the connector pegs right there that are different and these are different too but I mean it's just for the sake of the wheels so we pull apart at the middle got those connector pegs right there so oh basically to get the armor on we kind of have to transform them about halfway back to a uh, vehicle mode at least the upper half so I'm just going to kind of speed through that and then get to the armor. Okay, so back to the armor. Now that we got them transformed and ready for that, I'm going to take this leg right here, slide that his leg in there, and there's a jumper plate right on the back of his leg. Try to get you to see that right there. That little connector peg is where this guy's going to go into. So first you want to kind of line that up. that and then you can move it forward and this is pretty easy to reconnect and then we fold in the front panel like that make sure that's moved up all the way like so and we do the same on the other side flip them around a little bit so you can see and then we fold it back with that connector peg and then he is all in like so so that's shaping up pretty good already let's move him back a little bit more so you can see and you can see his full ankle tilt more of a toe tilt than an ankle tilt this, this part right here moves side to side just so it looks a little more stable when he does like Y stance poses. So we're gonna move him back a little bit. And then get to the chest area, which are now on mixels. So I'll fold these out. Just probably a little bit. And then those lined up and then we're going to rotate here to get the shoulder shoulder position right do the same on the other side like so And then we're going to lift up the head and I'll show you exactly where this is all going to connect at. That little middle peg right there in the blue, that's going to connect to the jumper plate on top where his neck was. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's lift up these arms to just kind of get those out the way so they're going to get in the way a little bit. And just connect that. On top. Let's see. Should connect right there. Wants to be a little stubborn right now, that's fine. What we might do is connect this piece first. Like so. And then we can connect the chest. It's a lot easier. Oops. 
really easy the first time. <laughs> Get these arms out the way. Should be right there. There it is. Oh, yep, perfect. <laughs> Close up these shoulder panels right there, like so. Rotate these arms out. Rotate the forearms, and then the hands, like so. And then do the same on the other side. Got the bicep. On side, so I can get the wrist. That's nice and tight. And there we go. And then for the final head reveal, nice. Let me get this guy pushed back a little bit so you can see him. Pick up the camera a little bit. She's pretty tall. And then you take these missiles right here and just rotate them forward. And he is done. Delta Magnus. Yes. So he's still pretty articulated. He has all the articulation from the, the cab version. Um, like I said, everything is on mixels. Uh, mixels at the elbows, the shoulders. Um, he has Hero Factory joints for the wrist. Full wrist articulation right there. Um, still kind of has a knee a little bit. So you can get some poses with him like that, which is pretty dope. Let's say I got the little toe tilt feature. So you get some wide stance with them. Looks like it's leaning to the side a little bit. Just straighten them up. There we go. And I designed a really cool gun for him. Try to get it as close to his actual gun as possible. Got some silver, uh, Metallica looking pieces in there. That little piece right there. And he has the the Technic axle right there. So we could just plug that in. Make sure his arm is nice and tight. And he looks pretty good with that. Now I'm gonna do a rotate and I'm gonna show you another feature. So it actually took me quite a few hours to redesign and retool everything to where, you know, it was, you know, just Delta Magnus and not just a complete repaint of the, the Ultra Magnus mode that I had. Especially a lot of time on that chest. Got it to look as accurate as possible. With the, the see-through windows right there and the little lip right there redesigned belt so his chest is you know way more detailed way beefier and um a lot more sturdy than last time also so another feature that i decided to add um i was in love with the head design because it just looks way more way more accurate than my <clears throat> excuse me my ultra magnus design but the actual delta magnus coming out doesn't have that face guard so i did an alternate Head piece right there and the head is really easy to detach if you need to it's just on this little mixel pin right there I might do like a tutorial on how to you know build transformer heads and stuff in the future so comment below if you want to see something like that so with the mouth guard you just take this down and pop this piece off right there and I have an alternate face be a little more accurate with the toy as you can see here and then we just reattach that the back oh, his arm dropped 
Put this on back up. Tighten that up. And there we have Ultra Magnus, the way the actual toy looks. It looks pretty good. Um, the only size comparison that we could do today is the G1 Lambor, which you guys haven't even seen yet. But I think the size is pretty, uh, pretty accurate. G1 Lambor, I got, uh, these new windshield pieces that I was, I was ordering when I was building the G2 Lambor, so... Um, I'm going to show you an update with that and get some tiger tracks going and get this guy's review going. That's pretty cool. Um, no other size comparison is new. So let's get this guy out of here. So this is BX Bricks. I want to thank you guys again for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting and just waiting for me to put up another video. I know it's been a while, and I'm gonna try not to have you guys wait so long to have another video up. As you see, I got some other things going on that I'm gonna be doing videos for. And in the meantime, go check out my other channel, New Bricks on the Block. Got a lot of cool things on there that, you know, you might be able to put in your mocks and stuff like that. So, um, see you guys next time. Peace.